It's the most recognizable part of the D.C. skyline, and at 555 feet, the Washington Monument remains the world's tallest freestanding stone structure. This morning, reopening to the public for the first time since March. We are getting ready to reopen the Washington Monument. We're thrilled to reopen, but it's a baby step. We're, 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 not, back to, we're not back to normal now. Like nearly all public buildings, visitors will experience changes because of the pandemic. Group sizes limited, visitors will need to get tickets ahead of time, and once on the observation level, they'll need to walk one way to the windows offering views of the nation's capital. For the monument, it's just the most recent reopening. Over the past decade, the Washington Monument has been closed far more than it's been open. It was closed for years of repairs following the 2011 earthquake. Workers repelled down the exterior and discovered cracks. The building deemed unsafe, requiring extensive repairs. How bad was the damage from the earthquake? There is no give, there is no sway in stone. So those um, um, earthquake tremors, as they went higher up the monument, just got magnified by the stone and there was significant vibration, significant damage. After those repairs, the monument closed again for three years for elevator issues, just reopening last fall. Started in 1848, it took decades to build. Inside the base, a tribute to the nation's first president and a relic from the time of construction. And we see the remnants here of some what is effectively graffiti left behind by a Civil War soldier with the date of 1861. Some soldier in 1861 left their mark here. We board the elevator that typically carried up to 18 people, now limited in COVID times to parties of just four to eight. Once we reach the top. Wow, that view is right there the minute you get out of the elevator. It is absolutely spectacular. And in every direction, a piece of history. To the north, the White House. To the south, the Tidal Basin and Jefferson Memorial. Out west, the Reflecting Pool, Lincoln Memorial, and Arlington National Cemetery. And look east, down the National Mall, to the Capitol and beyond. This has to be the best view in Washington. There isn't even a second place on, on, on the best view of the city. Uh, because, I mean, not only are you 500 feet up, you're 500 feet up looking at the landmarks of American history. The top of the obelisk, the Pyramidion, was finished in 1885. This is all the original stonework, but it began to crack during the earthquake. So now to reinforce it, they've come in with brackets and bolts. The monument itself standing strong for more than a century. In a time when everything is so polarized and it feels so unsure, it, it's nice to have something that is timeless and that feels steady and sturdy. People have been coming up here and looking out and getting this view since 1888. Now, the features have changed, certainly. Wow, there's so much history we learned in there, Tom. Okay, you talked about the earthquake. How many cracks are in that were in the yeah. monument because of it? Yeah, they had to work on a thousand cracks, and most of them were right here where we are, near the tip, near the peak of the monument. But to get to these cracks, they don't have an outside structure, a crane, so they had to repel take these windows out and rappel down oh the gosh. side. Oh Imagine gosh. doing that for a living. And yeah. oh, by the way, that's the Jefferson Monument right over there. But yeah, it was a, an unbelievable uh, accomplishment. Guys, one last thing I should have mentioned. If you come here, you got to wear a mask, right? Yeah, Otherwise, you don't get in. Back to you. Of course. Wow. Tom, Tom you. you're awesome. Who pulled the 500 feet of cable <laughs> there right. to the top of the monument? Well done. Kudos Thank to the you. crew. Yes. Technology. We love the technology these days. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know what? It's. I think he's so right, too, what Tom said. It's like, what do you get up there? Perspective. Perspective. Yes. And boy, do we need that right now. Mm -hmm.